Welcome to this 19th episode of Lifetime Story Volkswagen ID3 First Edition. Well, this is the story for this month on the car. We had the little problem. The sound came back on the front suspension, the sway bar. Well, the one got loose. That was that problem. It's the 31st of May. And the car is 19 months old. This is the 19th episode. And you can see that the car is at 100% charged. And the GPS says, well, not the GPS, excuse me, the gasometer. That's uh, kind of uh, figuring out how far you can go, says. Today I'm actually able to go 403 kilometers. That ain't that bad. And we have 15 degrees. 15 degrees outside. And how far has the car gone? From month to month. We always check that out. So, information. So, the car's got 27... Uh, 27,478 kilometers on it so far. And how far is it before we're going into the first service? Well, suddenly she doesn't know. It suddenly disappeared. Why? You know that I had to push down the brake pedal to start the car before she could tell me how far it is. It's 317 days until the first service. Okay. Yeah, we've been charging the car with the charger that came with the car for 19 months. And we have had no problem whatsoever. Okay, it takes a little time to charge it. But then again, you can lift it a lot more often up to 100% than you do with something that, that uh, gives it more electricity. Yesterday we bought the car some seat covers because we see that uh, that's needed if we're gonna have this car for a lot of years. So uh, this will probably be in another episode that I put this on. If I remember correctly, the first edition was only produced in 37,000 cars. If I'm wrong, and the cars that came after, uh, the ones who were delivered in 2020, they uh, got the name uh, City, that had 45 kilowatts batteries, and then you had the one called Life with 58 kilowatts, and then you had the Business. And then you had the family, and then you had the tech and the tour. But now in uh, 2022, uh, they've only been making uh, what they call special editions because they have uh, not all the parts they need. That's what they told me at the Volkswagen here in my city. So, um, yeah, it's hard to get the electric car now because of the war in Ukraine. So, um, this is a little information about, about the car so far or the production, the production line. It's the 12th of May. 2022 
And I just got the, the did you hear that noise? Yeah. Just got the sway bar fixed. And I think I got must have gotten the two bad ones because I hear just about the same noise in both. If it's not that, it's got to be something else, but it's pretty much the same noise. Yeah. So I have to contact the dealership again. There you heard it. I heard it at least. There it was again. There's something wrong you know, with the front, front suspension. You heard it there again, there. Something's not right. Yeah. I'm just driving the regular way down to the city. Listen to this. This is not right. And it's just 14 days since I changed those uh, sway bars. This is not good at all. Well, so I'm uh, back here at Miller. You tell them that uh, there's a sound in my car. It's not right. It doesn't feel right either. Going in. So I got to myself an appointment uh, at uh, Wednesday next week, the 18th of May 2022 at uh, 10 o'clock. So let's see if they can get this thing right this time. Okay. It's still the, the 12th of May. And I was down and I had an appointment for the 18th of May to change this way bar scan. But uh, the noise are getting so bad here now just for a trip of uh, 60 kilometers to another town and back and uh, and I can't uh, can't uh, stand this here noise so I'm going down to, to um, get the loaner car and they can keep this until they fixed it yeah that's what I'm thinking about doing So I have a rental car until tomorrow. They were taking my car in today and uh, they're fixing it early in the morning to get those sounds from the front suspension away. So the car will be as good as new again. I don't know what the, what's wrong and what makes the sound. Get that problem back. Bye 
what we'll see in this uh, lifetime story Volkswagen ID3 first edition. Somebody's got to be the guinea pig here and figure out how good or how bad or how ugly it might be. Well, so far I'm still positive about the car, but you see, three more links appears a problem. Straight up to 25,000 kilometers, thereabouts. See the other episode, and you'll see uh, exactly the kilometers on the car. So, yeah, so this is a nice little white one. Looks good white as well, but I prefer my uh, Bluestone Gray car. Yeah. So, charging the car up a little bit. So we're sure we have more power on it than we than we got it here. And we're charging. And tomorrow we'll get our Moonstone Gray Volkswagen ID3 first edition back. Yeah. I'm back here at Muller on Friday the 13th. Delivered the car. I uh, got it with 55% and left it with a little over 70% with the battery on it. So I'm going in and fetching my own car. So I got the car back. It was uh, the sway bar on the left side. The nut has gone loose. So, somehow or some way, that happened. Should not happen, but it did. So if I forgot to, to lock it up with a, a moment, uh, uh, and, uh, problem, maybe I forgot to take it onto a newton meters, that's right. Or something like that. Yeah. And it's 26,551 kilometers when I picked it up at Volkswagen. Can't seem to get the air condition to work here either. Nothing. Nothing. Why can't I get that to work? This is not right. Won't go up, won't go up. Nothing happens. The car is, or is on. But it will not, nothing happens. I gotta go in again. Tell them this air is uh, totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. You can drive the car. Can't get it out. Then I got some help from a nice lady here, and uh, this was uh, totally didn't uh, react to my uh, to my um, uh, fingers at all on this here display here, and she turned it off there, and she hold down the bottom here to reboot the whole system here, and then it came back so I can adjust things 
So no, it's okay. But this will be hopefully all gone when I get the next uh, update in the end of uh, this month and the or the beginning of May and the end of May or the beginning of June. They said the car's going in to change the 12 volts battery and get the new update. So um, yeah, that's coming uh, next. Uh, and everything's been uh, fine except that the uh, loose uh, sway bar link yeah and that's uh, fixed pretty fast so um, other than that everything's been good and I uh, also did a little test with a GPS system in the car so you'll see that in the movie We are at the uh, Emsehusen Nidorn. Just uh, bought an oil filter for the Suzuki Intruder. And I just figured out I'm gonna do a kind of a test here because I've been driving on some, uh, some uh, uh, toll roads. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna. Uh, Turn off something here that uh, has with the. Yeah, you see here? It's a. Uh, uh, don't take the motorway. I don't want to take the motorway. And I want to miss the toll roads. Well, okay, okay. I can take highways, um, motorways, but uh, I just took away toll roads and I'll go back and I'll see where she takes me so I'm gonna get her to take me home 42 minutes away and here we see that's the route she put me on See? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna commit to the route she figured out. This is the fastest one. Full by in at 100 meter. Snow or full by in the dog. I'm gonna pitch in and pitch out. As I'm driving. So we're leaving Hamar, Nydorn. Swing now to the left and swing a middle bar to the right to the way in Gjellvegen. And let's see. Uh, she just wants me to put the seatbelt on. So I'm going to do that. Put the seatbelt on. Turn to the right. And then she wants me straight over the roundabout. Second. Why does she want me here? I don't know. Because uh, I think I'm going into for a toll road here. That I'm asked that I didn't want to go through any payments. Just for this, uh, just to see if that uh, GPS there can take me. Uh, Around the toll roads. We'll see. It's 
So I'm on the motorway doing a uh, oh, I said I didn't want the toll roads. So then she's uh, not responding correctly. So I'm going to stop here. Ta den andra avkörningen och följ E6. I uh, asked for no toll roads, so why isn't that working? Yeah. Then I'm gonna take away. Don't drive highways either. Ta den första avkörningen mot Hamar väst. Now go. Ta den första avkörningen mot Hamar väst. And I'm gonna see now what she's saying now to stay away from the highways. Oh, she suddenly wants me to go this way. Avoiding uh, highways or motorways and toll roads. I had it on just forget about the toll roads, but she put me on the toll roads anyhow. Yeah. It's a good view out, out there. Farmer's land. And then it's straight up head for a little while. On the road comes road the, like this here, tiny our roads. The road assistance is uh, Taking the wheel all the time, having an opinion on where the car should be laying on, in the lanes and the uh, road. Well, I think I'm a better driver than she is, so uh, I have to fight with her. Swing now to the right on 25.
I like that light that comes up to point the direction that the GPS, wa GPS wants me to go. Följ 25 km. I have the cruise control on. So I'm barely just, I'm just uh, holding the wheels. The car does the most of the other things. Can't see the red, the yellow, and green lights, and if it comes to some uh, crossroads, see here it sees it's a truck. That's what she sees, and the green line behind the truck on the screen there. The distance that I put it on to be. So we're doing the speed limit here. It's over cloudy today, and there's uh, 24 kilometers to get to the city that I live in. live in the city but we live eight kilometers outside the city yeah north northeast of the river pale blue river or in Norwegian called Gorlbank it's the longest river in Norway it looks to me like she's uh wanna take me up on the Highway. Although I told her no highways, no toll roads. We'll see. It's 80 kilometer here normally, but she doesn't read the signs. Oh, she's only there. She picks it up. Yeah. She didn't didn't do it on the first, but the second one. up again. Normally it's eight, 8 kilometers an hour here. But she adapted. And she wants me first. Straight over the roundabout. Touching anything here. For the first and she's breaking down herself. No feeds on here. That's how we're going. And she's uh, turning the speed up a little bit. Oh, she drives a little, little too aggressive. For me, but, uh, okay. So she wants me on the motorway. What will you do? Now the car asked me, what do you want to do? What do you need help with? She asked me, what do you need help for? Search the special mall in the area. Pause. Find us where there is no special. Pause. Stemme steering and set. Tell her to just take a pause. Sometimes uh, she just drops down. If I want to speak or her, I push that button. Sometimes she just listens in and suddenly she just asks me, what do you want to do? And so, and I asked her, where do you want to go? I asked her the other day here and she said, well, I want to go to the closest car wash and get washed. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 
car wants to take a car wash. Yeah, I have to. She wants me to go. 3.5 kilometers she wants me to take to the right. So probably this it's, this uh, piece of the highway here is not the not the, not the toll road. This is just about how far I can ride the highway without going all roads. So I have to take to the right, go over the bridge, and you see that the Mikkelgård. This uh, highway here is pretty new. You can see here on the dash chair, you also see the roundabout. She wants me to go. And you see here it's uh, no crones for driving this road. And this is the old road between Ardrim and Hamar. They put down the speed limit quite a bit here because they want people to drive the highway and pay the toll roads. Well, I'm doing this here for uh, for test reason, just to see see if the car took me away from the toll roads. Uh, I had to push in, don't take the highways and don't take the toll roads to make her do that. So, um, yeah. I haven't been messing around with the GPS system that much, so always something new to experience in this car. Let's see here. We're driving speed limit of 60, and uh, this here tells me that uh, she kind of has to control the wheels. If I let the wheel go here now, she's supposed to take the wheel, but she didn't. So, uh, Yeah, but I can feel she's kind of correcting me. Okay, I know I know why, because she didn't see the, there was no midline, so she could wobble about here and there. So, um, yeah, that's why. There's no center line. She correcting the car out from out of this. So if I put the steering like a little to the right here, then she takes it back. But there's no mid midline in the road, so that's why she can go all the way over to the left. But she takes me back into the center of the road. If uh, If she feels like I'm uh, out of uh, uh, place on the road, so let's see here. No, we're probably going to drive off the road. If uh, no, it's going, I have to correct it a little bit. But okay, let's see. I lose it. I don't touch it. Yeah, she took it. I'm a little scared, and she says, "Drive in the middle of the road." So she's actually doing the driving here now, but I have to only go, go 10 seconds and I have to take the wheel again, or else it will be kind of self-driven. 
uh, in places where you of course have a center line because you know, on this road you would go from the right side of the road here all the way to the left there because you don't see anything in the middle so let's see here I'm not taking the wheel here see let's see yeah she she uh, she's not let me drive off the road see that and she says drive in the middle of the road and let's see how far it goes before she says take the wheel you see the car is driving itself uh, here I have to take it because there's no center line and I'm there's a car coming so I'm gonna let go again here um, let's see here I don't know what you see cuz uh, I'm uh, holding the camera over my head here and then you see go over, going over the center the middle of the road because there's no center line I would not do this test here in 80 kilometers an hour no way I don't think so let's see here what happens yeah no I, I didn't trust her but I she took took the wheel straight after I took it but uh, then again let's see here you see you no know, center line so she would not turn the wheel on the right side of the road as I come through here again let's see here if she takes the road here yeah, she takes it. I have to be ready with my hands here, because I don't, I don't trust this. This is scary. I never, I, I barely use this here. I usually turn it off. That uh, driver assistant or lane assistant. Yeah. So, enough of that. Let's see if the car uh, can see those bicycle riders over there. Uh, it appears as a car, probably because they're uh, on side by side. Then we have uh, arrived at our room, so I'm going to just stop the, the GPS, just tell it to just turn off. Slå av veivisning. Stopp i veivisningen. I just said turn off the, uh, the GPS. I'm gonna go in and just see on the map uh, see on the map uh, which kind of road she would have chosen if I was to go to let's say the capital city of Norway Oslo It's a new place where people come to tank up the petrol and diesel cars because this is the cheapest place. And we got Burger King is pretty new in uh, our town. So So let's see. If we were to go to uh, let's see, we were to go to uh, let's 
it's just the only little sun. Maybe it looks like uh let's see if I try it oh. and was able to go to the top. Kjør til den viste ruten. Let's see here now. Nå ligger på en vei med begrenset gjennomkjøring. Let's see here. Where does she want me to go? Yeah. And the normal route, if I was to go go uh, go to Oslo on the highways, it goes faster. I would would go uh, this way. Blue way here and down there. So this takes me uh, on another route that this has no toll roads. If I wanted to take that, but the fastest is the blue one. So uh, that works. So um, yeah, now I'm gonna go in here and grab a burger. That was uh, the story of. Uh, may 2022 and uh, thank you for watching and just stay in the moment and appreciate every day and uh, have a good summer wherever you are in the world so uh see you in the next month or you see me or how was that i don't know <laughs>